All right, this is part two. I got the interior cleaned. Um, I showed you what kind of what I do. I did it in my parents' car because it was tan, it was lighter, it was cool. Let's see if we can do it here. So this is pretty hard to do with one hand. So you come back with a microfiber and just wipe this all down. So it gets in the crevices here and blows all that stuff out. So yeah, this is a good it would be really hard to film inside here, but everything's been done with the uh, Tornado. It's all clean, really sterilized. Everything washed down now. Um, one tip, and these are hard to get. These are real sheepskin co seat covers. I've had these for about 20 years. I've, maybe even longer. I've had them on all the trucks I've owned. Um, I had a couple Silverados and uh, Sierras, but under here are my leather seats, but they look like brand spanking new. And these seat covers have not given out on me. I don't know. You'd have to look on the internet. They're pretty hard to find these days, and they're not cheap. I think I paid 300 I don't know, for the front set. And I don't have any in the rear. I got neoprene back there. I'll show you that in a minute. But um, these have lasted. Um, I've gotten dark color. They've faded a little bit, a little worn torn, but they really protect the seats, uh, especially when you come trading in. A vehicle, I think one of the first signs they see if a vehicle's really been used a lot, especially on the driver's side, is they check these corners here to see how much they've been broken in and worn. And every time I've turned the vehicle in, the seats look like brand new. So just a little tip that I have that I've been doing for years back here because I've had dogs over the years. This is neoprene waterproof, kind of like the um, wetsuit material. And these have fit, fitted on the last three vehicles I've had, so they were well worth it. They're not a perfect fit. They probably, gosh, I don't even know how long ago I got these, but as long as the configuration on the GM products pretty much stay the same, you can make them work. So I got the seat covers and got these. It is what it is, so she's all done in here. The glass is not done yet, but they'll save that for last. So the, what I'm going to work on now, um, the truck sat overnight from the previous video. It's been washed and dried, and now I'm going to go over it with clay to get all the imperfections off the hood. And what I've used is O&R 1% mixed with water. And O&R is a washless, waterless wash, um, kind of developed during the drought time. This is what it is. And I use this as a lubricant over to do my claying. So this bottle has lasted me a long time and I've used it quite a bit and I've had friends over and we've done that. So, you know, it looks pretty good. Um, but what I'm going to do now is take the contaminants off. And so what I'll be doing is spraying this lubricant on here. And I will take this clay. And the key to this clay is you got to get a nice piece out here. And you just want to kind of go over the surface like so. And all the way down. And work a small area at a time. And all that solution does, and there's, I'm not even sure what's in it. It would be a soap product, and I'm sure there's other stuff you can use, but I found this the most cost-effective. It'll come and pick up residue um, that's, you know, sitting on top here. And it would be like water spots, etc., from acid rain. I know there's tar on this vehicle a little bit, and I'll find it here shortly. But so you can see, this ain't too bad. But there's particles here that it picked up. This is not bad, but you just go through the whole hood. And I'll get a little more spray down here and then we'll wipe it off. And honestly, when you're done doing this and drying it, the hood looks pretty clean. So this is the prep work that I'm going to do before I put a sealant on it or a ceramic coat on it. And then once I get this done, I'm going to look and see if there's any spots that need to be polished out, if there's scratches and that. But this is going to give me a good indication of you know, what's going on. So yeah, there's a little dirt on here. And then once this piece should last the whole truck, um, and then what you do is knead it inside itself, and then make it flat again, and then you go through the whole vehicle. Um, keep that there. And then I get a microfiber towel, and I'll go through here and wipe this down. And then we'll go through this, the whole vehicle this way, including the glass, and I think probably the Biggest place you'll see contaminants picked up is on your windshield. 
Um, but yeah, and this is what you do. And I'll try and show a piece, if I get to a part that I can actually see that there's contaminants on here, um, I'll show you what happens to the clay. Okay, so now I clayed the hood and I'm kind of gonna break this down. I did the whole front of the vehicle and I can tell by the way this microfiber's going across here that there's nothing on here. Um, and I got swirls, I don't know if you can see that. But I'm gonna go through and use griots through, um, I think it's, I don't know, I'll show it to you in a minute. It's a griots product, but hopefully to get all that out of there. I know this vehicle was stuck in a hailstorm and here's some spots that need to be repaired. But um, yeah, I mean, does it look good? Yes, but it needs, I can just see it. There's just stuff that needs to be corrected underneath here. So we'll get started on that. All right, so I'll be using Griot's Fast Correcting Cream to get the marks off the hood there on my DA polisher, and I decided to go with a blue pad. Um, this is kind of damp right now, so what I'm going to do is shake this up. I just want to three little pea sized drops here on the pad. I'm just going to work a small area. Let's see how this goes here, like so. So I'm going to get this area worked here. And the idea is that you want to spread a nice even coat around. Just dab it on this piece here. And then we're going to start off probably on a one speed just to evenly put a, um, a nice thin coat on here and then increase the speed a little bit and just work this area back and forth. So start to film by yourself. And then what I'm going to do is Will it be perfect? No. Will it be better? Yes. And this is the prep work that I'll do before we put sealant and wax on it and get out what we can. So. This is going to turn out on the camera. This is the 2017 new farm truck. And it does work, so call it good. Okay, the whole truck has been clayed. And I've got these marks here. And i got a couple other ones I'm going to patch up. But overall, it's in pretty good shape. It's ready for the next step. And I think I'll be putting a coating over it 
and let that cure for a little bit and I gotta fix all this. Okay, I decided since a lot of the paint chips are in this part of the truck, I'm gonna actually go and use Dr. Color Chip to do this. So um, I got these two scratches here and I got a few along the way. So I'm gonna start doing that now and cut, getting these guys. And I think I got one up here before I start doing the sealant and then it'll have time to cure by the time I get back here and uh, put the sealant on it. But this is Dr. Color Chip. Um, we put the paint on with this tiny little head brush. And there's three of them that you get in the kit. And then you'll just go in here and fill this and then do its thing. And then you got this other step two. It's a seal, seal act. And then you just smooth it over until it cures. And actually, the goal is I won't be able to see this uh, once it's all cured and that. So we'll see. So I'll get going on that now. All right, it's 24 hours later from the time I put the sealant on my truck. Now is my last step, at least for the paint, and then I got wax. <clears throat> Just another layer of protection for winter. Um, the sealant, 24 hours, they, is recommended that it stays on the vehicle, so that was last night at this time. So now I'm here in waxing. Believe it or not, the waxes have changed, at least the one I used now compared to when I used to do my dad's car. If everyone remembers turtle wax, it was a bear to get off, especially if you're doing it in the summertime. But what little did you know, but what I'm using now is ammo, reflective paste. Stuff is pricey, but this container will last me a long time. You really don't need much. So we got the wax on here on the top. And the key to taking this stuff off really is having a great microfiber. And you can see there's two different types of piles on the sides of this one. And then after that, I will come back through with this fluffy one and uh, finish it off. So I'll show you how this all goes. This is the beauty of black right now, it's taking the time to do it, because when it is waxed and looking good, it just pops. So there's that. You can see how that's coming off. And I'll come back with this one. Just give her a fluff. And there you go. So that's what I'll be doing. I've got the front end here waxed. Once I get this finished, then I'll go to, to the doors and then go to the bed of the truck. And I'll just see what that looks like when it's done. Okay, the front's waxed. I don't know if you can tell the difference or not, but it's kind of hard and slight. But no, I'll do this next and then work myself down. And then probably tomorrow night, maybe tonight, we'll get to this part here. Doing it by section, the truck will be in here all week. I don't need it probably until the weekend, but by that time everything will be gone through like it should. It's, it's a big job, but if you do it over, do most of it on a weekend and then just do pieces on uh, during the week, then you'll get it all done and done right. And then you don't have to worry about it. Then you don't want to take it out, and I'm sure when I take it out it'll probably be pouring rain, but it'll be fun to watch the rain uh, beat up on the hood. All right, it's all waxed up. I open up the door. It's been raining all day. She's turned out. I still gotta do the glass, the chrome, and the windows and the roof. But the big stuff is done, so I'll do a little bit tomorrow. But yeah, it turned out good. It took a while. Nice thing to do. Just wind down the day. And uh, yep, this is a 2017. Silverado uh, LTZ. 